We're creating the world's longest community orchard, which will span 50 kilometres from Worcester all the way into Wolverhampton using the canal as a landscape scale project. So it will consist of thousands of trees. Right here in this field, which is a pocket orchard, we have 300 of about 150 different varieties. Because this has ignited people's imagination, we've had a lot of interest from the press, the TV and radio. It's a community orchard that's just gonna get stronger and stronger for the next 150 years. Orchards are fantastic habitats because they're neither one thing nor the other. They're not quite woodland, although they do contain fruit trees, and they're not quite meadow because they've got trees in them. And as a result of that, we get the wildlife from both of those habitats. So we get our woodland wildlife like woodpeckers, insects and beetles, and then we get our meadow species, so butterflies, wildflowers, and you get all of those together. Some of the species that are going to be seen here are going to be yellow hammers and bullfinches, and during the winter when the fruits drop to the floor, we'll get song thrushes and red wings and field fares. This particular habitat is incredibly important because we're going to transform it from quite a low wildlife value site into an incredibly biodiverse area. There are some rare butterflies, in particular the brown hair streak, which feeds on blackthorn hedges. So one of the things that indicate the presence of the species is the eggs over winter, and they're usually at the joint of a blackthorn fresh new growth. If hedges get cut during the winter, you lose all these eggs. Because a lot of the plums are closely related, and we're hoping that they will also lay their eggs on some of the fruit trees that we're planting. We're providing a whole variety of species in this orchard, which will prolong a very long period of blossoming. Some of the best old orchards in the country contain this extraordinary array of wildlife and are some of the most biodiverse habitats in the country. Now we've lost so many old orchards that it's really great to see some new ones being planted like this fantastic site here in Worcestershire. We're really creating something for the future so it's fantastic to see the Canal and River Trust taking this project on and, and planting this orchard. This orchard has been made possible by the Green Recovery Challenge Fund and it's just won a whole host of enhancements across the landscape of the Midlands. So we'll be planting thousands of fruit trees and there'll be a mixture of very old traditional, native and quite modern varieties and we're also adapting to climate so there'll be some unusual species acknowledging the warming climate so even in this orchard here which is based on a traditional orchard we will have species of apricot and peaches and almonds just as a nod that in the future it will be that bit warmer. Today we're at the canal and we're planting some trees. As you can see, we have lots around here. And this one is a apple tree. It's a purple haze apple tree, actually. The idea that in a few years' time, people will be able to walk along the towpath and pick some free unsprayed fruit is a wonderful idea. I've planted two plum trees so far. I think it's a great idea. I think that um, having community fruit orchards are fantastic for the community to come together and pick fruit when it's ready and for us to look after it together. We think it's going to be very happy to have loads of trees around here. And we're very glad we started this because it looks beautiful from the view of trees and we love it so far. It's very nice. Yeah.